All right, this will be a quick video overview of the LG 4K multi-display monitor. We'll do a quick unboxing, see what's in the package, see how to get it all set up. All right, so once you get the box opened, you're going to see a couple things at the top here. So first you got your owner's manual, you set that aside, and then you're going to have a, a bag of components here so we'll go through all the stuff that we actually need out of here and what we can set aside so first you're going to have a HDMI to HDMI cable you can set this aside you're not going to need that for our setup if, you, if you're setting this up for orbital computer you're not going to need that you're going to have another HDMI to HDMI cable set that aside you'll have this little cable management collar I'll keep this we're going to use this you have a USB type C cable type C to type C you can set this aside for now you're going to have your primary main power cable definitely need this and you'll have a remote control and some batteries you can set that aside for now we don't don't require them to get started but you can look through the manual and see how to how to use that in the future if you'd like and then you're going to have a bag of four screws, which we are going to use. And then if you order this from Orbital Computers for an Orbital PC, you're also going to get four separate uh, mini display port to HDMI cables. And these are going to come inside the computer box. They're not going to come with the monitor. We ship these. They don't come from, they don't come from the LG monitor. And this is what they're going to look like. You're going to have... HDMI on one end and mini display port on the other end. So that's how these guys look. You're going to have four of these and you're going to need them. Then in the top section you're also going to have this cover plate. You can set this aside for our setup. You want to stand the box back up and remove the top piece of foam. Just pull the top piece of foam out the top. Set that aside. You're going to want to keep all this packaging material in case the monitor needs to be returned. Then inside the package, you're going to have this component here. This is the primary, this is the base for the computer. This is the, the stand, or for the monitor. This is the stand, so we're going to need this. The VESA mount and stock for the computer, for the monitor. So we're going to need this as well. Then you simply lift the monitor out of the cardboard box and lay it face down flat on the table, just like so, with the cover still on it. It's easy enough to do with one person. It's not too heavy. All right, go ahead and take the protective cover off of the monitor and then lay it down so that all the ports are visible right here. And then go ahead and take off all the plastic on all your extra components and we'll get ready to get everything hooked up here. So we'll start by connecting this VESA stock into the monitor. There's uh, two tabs right here and they just fit into the top right here. So just slide these guys in and then lay it flat and that's all there is to that and then grab your four screws and then we're gonna thread in the four screws right into the four corners here so you'll see I can't miss it there's arrows pointing at each of them you're just gonna need a standard Phillips head screwdriver to tighten these guys, tighten these guys into place and uh, you don't need to use excessive force, you know, just snug them in there and make sure they're tight, but you don't really need to crank it down. Just tighten them down and there you go, that's all they need. Then you can grab this little plastic cover piece and it has three tabs at the top, same way you plugs in, you want to angle it this way, plug it in at the top, and then just push down and then there's additional clips here that clip into place and it's just a cover plate to make it look really clean. Alright, now we can install the base to the stock. So you'll grab this piece here and basically this this is the back side and this is the front side here. And it's a uh, real straightforward you so say you just grab this piece and plug it in so that the metal piece goes into the stock there. Push it in all the way. And then you take this screw, it has like kind of a finger latch on it, and you just thread it in by hand. So you only need to do this by hand. So you, you, you see how this uh, 
this latch gives you a little bit of extra leverage. You set this latch up and then you can twist it in finger tight so you don't have to use a screwdriver for this. And then when you're done tightening it, get it, you know, just finger tight and then just push this clip down so that it's flush. And then you can pick up the, uh, actually, we'll plug in the cables here next. Alrighty, and now we'll plug in all the cables. So the cables you're going to need to get plugged in is the main power cable. There we go. And that one is real simple. You just take this connection. It only fits in one direction, just like a normal AC power cable. You plug it into the power port and really give it a good push and make sure it's 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 in there. And then you're going to need your four mini DP to HDMI cables. So you'll notice they have two different connections on them. And the HDMI connection, that's the big one, it goes into the monitor and the small mini display port will go into the back of the computer. And we'll get to that in a minute here. So just go ahead and take these cables, unbundle them, and this HDMI ca cable or connection you'll notice it, uh, it only fits in one direction. So it's wide, it's wider at the top and narrower at the bottom and you can plug it straight into the monitor and you'll notice the monitor has four HDMI ports so one for each cable and um, it doesn't matter which cable you plug in 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 any direction okay so it's in any order really so just grab all four cables and, and plug them plug them straight in there's you don't need to have them in a specific order we're gonna manage all the order um, how the, the cables are ordered within the software on the computer in a, in a minute here. So just get all these guys plugged in, and once you have all four of them plugged in, we'll be ready to go. All right, now we've got all four of our HDMI cables plugged in and our power cable, and the last step is to just take this plastic clip piece and connect it to the stock. And you can go ahead and stand the monitor up and just make sure all the cables are out of the way so that they don't they don't um the stand doesn't sit on on top of them and this it's reasonably easy to pick this up by yourself it's probably 30 35 pounds somewhere around there so you probably shouldn't need two people to help but it would be nice to have two people to help so this is this i think this will be our last view of the back of the monitor we can go ahead and turn it around now and start working on the computer side from here. All right, so this is how to plug in all the cables onto the back of your computer. So you'll start with the main power cable that just plugs in down here, and make sure that the the zero is pushed down so that's off. That means the power power supply is off for now. And then you're going to take the four video cables, and you'll notice they look different on either side. On one side they have a kind of a white notch cut out. On the other side it's just a flat, plain gold you want the white notch part to be facing upward and they're going to plug into this card right here so and it doesn't matter what order you plug them in so just go and grab the bundle of cables and, and plug them in in any order at all because we're going to set the order properly within the software here in the next step so just plug in all four of them and just make sure that they only fit in one direction so make sure that they go in easily. If there's a lot of resistance, like I'm trying to plug that one in upside down, um, if there's a lot of resistance, it's probably upside down. So the white notch should be facing upward. And if it's not going in properly, um, don't force it. They should require, they require very little effort to get in there. And then you'll want to plug in your ethernet cable. Um, if you're trading, I would recommend using the ethernet cable. That will be the best uh, performance. And then you'll also, in our case, we're going to be, you want to plug in your keyboard and mouse. In our case, we'll be using a Logitech wireless keyboard and mouse. So we'll plug in the wireless piece there for them. And that should do it for the computer. The computer should be ready to turn on now. It's turned on. You just push the one down. So you push the one down on the power supply. That means the computer's getting power now. And then you can hit the power button to start it. And you'll definitely want to, that's just a really quick overview, you'll want to refer to the quick start guide um, that came with the computer for detailed startup instructions on the computer itself. If you didn't get it, you can find that at orbitalcomputers.com forward slash start. And you'll notice, don't freak out, the monitor might not go into the correct, um, it, it might not display anything. It might just turn on with kind of a backlit screen like it is right now. 
that is perfectly normal because we need to tell the monitor to split itself into four um, into four quadrants and we do that with the mm -hmm. on screen um, menu there's under this LG logo here there's like a little joystick type button and it's hard to show on video but once you if, if you follow along this will this will be exactly how it's done you push down on the button you push in to click it then you push to the right to go to settings and you'll notice all the settings come up up top here then you're gonna pull towards you on the joystick to get to input then click once on input then pull close pull towards the front in this direction twice to get to PVP slash PIP mode so if that's picture by picture and picture in picture mode this is what we're going to use and then you click it once more and you'll notice the icon here is it's running as if it was one really large screen then you have the option to run it in dual monitor mode horizontal and then dual monitor mode vertical we're going to go for the quad monitor setup so you just pull down on that um, joystick four times to to get down to that mode and there we go so it just picked it up Alrighty, there we go so what it's done now is created our four virtual screens and again don't worry only one of them is going to turn on when your computer is brand new because we need to do our initial windows setup here so we'll do that real quick so to do the initial windows setup just grab your mouse and click yes on USA click yes on US uh, skip adding a second keyboard layout and choose your Ethernet you click accept the terms and then you type in the name of who's going to be using the computer and you can skip a password if you don't want it and you can go through and choose all these privacy settings and accept or decline and you can choose if you want to let Cortana help you I would say no unless you know you want to use that and then it's going to turn on here shortly so we'll watch how this goes so right now all four screens aren't going to turn on until you actually get into Windows so to run the four screens you need to have the NVIDIA driver needs to load and that doesn't happen until Windows launches so you'll see how this process goes here alright so here's the computer starting for the first time with the four screens and we need to immediately do some adjustments here so this will be your first your first boot up this is more or less how the computer is going to look that it'll be there will be some minor differences in backgrounds and that sort of thing, but this will more or less be how it looks. And so what you want to do is start by right-clicking your mouse. So use the right clicker and then click Display Settings. And you'll see in this diagram here, Windows doesn't know that this particular screen is sitting on the top left corner and this particular screen is on the top right corner. So what we need to do is adjust, drag and drop this... Uh, this, this this diagram here to match how it actually is in real life and so what you're going to do is click identify and it's going to give it's going to assign each screen a specific number so top left screen is number three top right screen is number four and this will vary based on the order of how you plugged in your cables um, but so you're not yours is going to be different than than what mine is right here so all you do is take the display number three and put it on the top top left corner it's already there take display number four it's on the top right corner take display number two and put it in right under number three and this is really important you see when I just made that adjustment um, I have to it, it moved this out of alignment so you have to move it back into alignment so make sure that's lined up there perfectly and then you'll see bottom right corner is monitor number one so we put monitor number one right there and then just make sure all of these are perfectly aligned you don't want you don't want them to be off center at all or else it's gonna affect how your mouse moves around and then once you've done applying uh, once you've done getting them all in the correct order you click apply and you'll notice now that your mouse moves completely smoothly if you move your mouse in one big circle across all four screens alright and here is what's really neat about this monitor so it's 
I've got it running in a quad monitor setup essentially right now and I've got two charts on each screen and I'm just using an online charting software for this quick demo um, for demonstration purposes but you'll have your own platform here and you'll probably you know set up one of the screens just for web browser and uh, maybe your DOM and your, your platform itself and then the rest of the screens for charts but you can adjust them any way that you like so I've got uh, just two on each screen which seems to work real nice on this setup and you can see on the top right one here I did four charts per screen and when you use your actual charting software this is this is much works out much cleaner because um, there's a lot of bulk from using the web browser as the charting um, as a chart provider but um, yeah when you get this set up on your own trading system it it, it will uh, it'll be a, a much cleaner setup with with more usable space but this is just awesome I mean it's it's a really great setup that you know, it's, a, it's your standard quad monitor setup that's usually ideal for most people for trading, but it eliminates all the bulk and hassle of having a monitor stand and trying to get, trying to line up all four screens perfectly so that there's no, uh, so that there's minimal gap in between the bezels. And then, of course, you're going to have, still going to have some plastic bezels in, in a T, in like a cross pattern in the center where, uh, you know, you're running into the plastic surrounds of the monitor. So it's just a really clean and and slick setup, and I'm really a big fan of it. It works really, really nicely for trading. And if you wanted, uh, the other option is you can always run it as a single 4K screen and virtually split the monitors. But that's kind of outside of the scope of this uh, of, of this video, and I wouldn't recommend doing that for a four monitor setup, anyways. So for the four monitor setup, this is this is definitely the way to go. You want to use the four cables in the picture, uh, the PVP mode that we went over how to set it up. So feel free to let me know if you have any questions on this.